There it is. That one there has got quite a flat surface on it. Can you set that boulder over by Marty and I? Yeah, over in the side there, yeah. While excavating the East Hill location between lots 12 and 13, Rick and Marty Lagina and members of their team have just unearthed a massive boulder where Oak Island theorists Corian Mull and Chris Morford suggest significant clues might be found. Great. One of the things they said we might find would be a boulder with, with a marking. With a marking. If there's anything on it, I think it'd be right here, this side. Look, it looks like a nice big X. You see that? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, it is. But I think that's from Tom. Mm -hmm. We need to go deeper. We need to be at sea level to make sure we're covering all the ground. Can you get three more feet out of that? Yeah, we can get a little deeper. Yep. You got some digging to do. I'll be right back. I got to make a phone call. I don't know where this stuff came from, but it's the most easily dug soil on yep. the entire island. Well, you think this is all pushed down by Fred? I think it has that feel. Yeah, it looks like yeah, it. Yeah, there's no stratigraphy. Yep. After locating what he believed to be a number of man-made stone markers in this area more than 40 years ago, the late Fred Nolan moved several layers of earth using a bulldozer in an unsuccessful attempt to uncover evidence of the Oak Island treasure. Is it possible that Fred was close to making a major discovery? If Fred pushed this in, he would have changed the whole landscape of the northern part of the island to get this much filled. I certainly believed he was on to something. Just once it would be nice, though, to make a discovery and know exactly what it is. Exactly. No gray area, no interpretation. This is what it is. Yeah. The color is starting to change down there again to a grayish black. That's what we want to see. Yeah. We want to see some something that's not pushed in. Right. That sounds like a big rock. There we go. Well, there's a rock. It's a big rock there. Another, even larger boulder? Could it have been placed there? Perhaps to cover something of great importance and value? Is that a right hydraulic? Yep. I was wondering what I was getting sprayed with. <laughs> I think it's the fitting. It's coming round and dripping here. Yeah, it is through there. It's coming, it's right in there. I think we're done. Yep. Because a hydraulic hose has completely ruptured on Tom Nolan's backhoe, it can no longer be operated to finish excavating the site, at least for now. Unfortunately, the team will have to wait until it is repaired before they can fully unearth the massive boulder to examine it for clues and also see what, if anything, lies beneath it. Oh, God, it throws you a curveball. <laughs> Isn't that typical? You know, the interesting take on that was we're at the point of interest. We hit a large stone, the hose breaks. I think it's just bad luck, you know, bad time. <laughs> but it's weird. <laughs> well, it's unfortunate, but we'll carry on, right? Mm -hmm. Plus, there's a big rock down there, and now we're on top. Always of it. the time, always the time. Good job, Tom. No problem. <laughs> Let's see about getting this fixed. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oak Island. <laughs> Typical Oak Island, yeah. <laughs>